even more than Fridays. Come on, Gabby. What are you doing? I'm recycling our paper. I'm hungry, though. That paper belongs in my home, not this recycling bin. What do you mean? You can recycle paper. This is a recycling bin. This bin is for cardboard, metal, and plastic only. I'm the paper king, the one on your recycling bin. Yeah, but then where do we recycle our paper then? I pay you for it. The more paper that goes in my home, the more money you get. Last year, you earned about $50. Did you know that there's a garbage patch in the middle of the North Pacific Ocean that has a greater mass than Mount Everest? A study shows that the U.S. is largely responsible for contributing to up to 87% of fishing waste added to the patch every year. In 2016, up to 2.7 million metric tons of plastic waste entered the ocean through rivers around the world. That research estimates is that there's up to 199 million metric tons of plastic debris in the ocean. This creates the largest landfill in the world and is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That is not a good record to have. Every year, Americans throw away about 50 billion different types of food and drink cans and 27 billion glass jars. Some researchers even estimated that farming soils may contain even more microplastics in the ocean. Yuck! As you just heard, it's not just paper that we need to recycle. So many things can be recycled out of cans and water bottles. Things you probably didn't even know about. Things like pans, water bottles, shoes, clothing, and cars. Even snowboards. When materials aren't recycled properly, this can cause more work at our recycling centers. We do have amazing machines that sort the recycling in the trash, but sometimes a couple pieces of trash slip by the machines. When this happens, that block of recycled materials can't be recycled. It just has to go to a landfill, so when trash goes with recyclable materials, it just delays that trash's trip to the landfill. Wrapping things in a plastic bag or Ziploc baggies also guarantees that whatever is inside will get sent to a landfill. These bags clog the recycling machines, which causes the center to shut down, and some people have to manually unclog it, which is definitely not safe. As you can see, recycling is very important for the environment. The average American uses up to 650 pounds of paper each year. Paper makes up 26% of waste at landfills. This is a problem we're facing in our community, too. Here at Ralia, we have a program called the Paper Gator. The Paper Gator is a nice little system that gives us money for recycling paper. But we've accidentally been mixing other things in with the paper. Did you know that when a single piece of paper is recycled properly, it can be recycled up to seven times? Think of what we do recycle. Did you know that we can earn money for our school by doing what we should be doing? Last year we earned about $50 from the Paper Gator program, but we need your help earning more. You can bring these items over to Raleigh and recycle in our Paper Gator too. If you do that, we can earn even more for our school and help the environment at the same time. We use it or lose it. Paper, 14 uses in one. Use, reuse, recycle. Love our earth. I was just a video on the I was very poor. You can have a big impact on our earth. Please help your community and Ralia recycle properly. Not like this. <laughs> we see the alligator. In the, we see the actual alligator guy. <laughs> the that. Wait. I, I forgot it. As you can see, recycling is very important. Yeah. <laughs> Every year, mm. Americans throw all of it. This helps create the biggest poop in the. Oh. <laughs> the biggest poop. Is a recycling bin. This paper is. This paper. Bro, please help your community and rally up. You better cycle properly after this. No excuses.